Looks like I should be in there. Should be good to go right now. How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing this Tuesday? <laughs> I know me. I woke up on the good side of the bed, happy. Uh, can't complain about anything. Uh, I do want to show y'all some stuff, man, and talk about some things real quick, man. First thing first is uh, all glory to God, man. And uh, let's thank him for everybody waking up today. Uh, now on to football. Yeah, Cooper Rush did a great job. There's been a lot of uh, we should leave Cooper in even when Dak returns and all this stuff. Look, yo, guys. Has Cooper Rush been doing this thing? No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. But uh, he's not a better athlete than Dak Prescott. He's not a better player than Dak Prescott. It's, it's funny how quick we can forget that Dak just took us 12-5 and five last year, man. Uh, so for me, it's just kind of like, guys, really? Um, not to mention, yeah, Coop, Coop's won, but <laughs> have they really played great teams? You know, that's that's the question in my my book. Now, the Giants, yeah, they were 2-0, and but, I mean, psh, come on, guys. Uh, the main thing for me is we got to understand our line, our O-line, has been getting it together. They actually have been um, elevating each week. Each week they've actually elevated. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Smith has gotten better each week. Um, Peterson came in last night, man, and did tremendous. You know, uh, that's a huge body. Peterson is huge. You know, that's a big, big boy, man. Uh, but he did a great job playing guard. Uh, we tend to uh, – Oversell things, you know, uh, Coop did great, but Coop has also been able to, Cooper's had a great uh, showing of the O-line. Uh, they did really great. Uh, let me see, just to give you an idea. They did, they did an amazing, amazing job, in my opinion. So now I pulled up some stats about it. So, for example, Matt, man, one hit in 25 snaps. Tyler Biedish, one hit in 31 snaps. Zach Martin, one hurry in 31 snaps. Tyler Smith, one hurry in 31 snaps. Uh, Terrence Steele, zero hurries in 31 snaps. And Jason Peters, zero hurries. Zero hurries in six snaps. So what I'm about to do real quick is I'm actually about to play a little footage real quick of the game. And I want to just play that first play just as so I can show you a little bit. That first drive to me, but uh, a little bit of Tyler Smith and Peterson, how dangerous they actually were. Um, I believe when it first starts, for, uh, Matt's going to be in there to start off. But Peters is going to get in there and he's going to actually have a huge block on a huge run play as well as Tyler Smith being able to move downfield. That's some real swing tackle energy right there, to be able to move downfield and just manhandle your opponent, get through their opponent. So it's a beautiful showing, in my opinion. Uh, bro, how far they do? Here we are. Look at this, guys. Look at that line. Look how much beautiful and better they're actually performing out here, man. So much better. So look at this. Look at this. Do you see how they're just pushing their boys, man? Look at Beatish, man. Go back, man. Did you see Beatish? Look at this boy. Look at him. Look at him. I mean, drug his character the whole way down there. 
this line, look at how they pull and press and just move, just move. And you got you got Smith way down the field. He ahead of he blocking ahead of uh Pillard. Look at that. Look at Beatish, bro. 63 and 73. Beatish and Tyler. Both a beautiful pushing down that field. That's that's so much better from the O-line. We, we, they just weren't capitalizing like that. I'm pretty sure. Just better run uh, run game, too. I believe we had uh, 180 yards in rushing. And that's beautiful. When we can do that, We when we can run the ball, we can open up, you know, the throw. And um, so people have been talking about all oh, that, this, that, that. Well, I mean, we didn't run the ball bad week one, but we didn't – I don't feel like we really successfully ran the ball week one either. That makes sense. So I'm just kind of like, man, when things fall into play, our offense is set up to where – it should be pretty simple, you know, to capitalize because we do have decent, a decent, decent offense regardless. You know, I don't care what anybody says. But this whole throwing back under, trying to make it like Cooper Rush should be QB1, it's a little excessive, Cowboy fans. It's a little excessive. We have to uh, be realistic in some scenarios, man, at least some. Yo, shout out to our tight ends too, man. Uh, both of our uh, rookie tight ends came in and boy, them boys played. But I, I mean, I ain't really. I knew this was gonna be the case. Uh, I remember watching them during preseason, saying, "Oh Lord, our mercy, you know, there's gonna be a whole controversy with Dalton Schultz." I promise you, during off season, there will be questions about that because Dalton needs to get paid. <laughs> Franchise tagged out. He needs to get paid, man. And uh, you would say that he's in a predicament to – like you could say he would have some leverage, but leverage will get lost when you have backups and rookies that can come in and put a, you know, good mileage for you. Defense did a damn great job too, by the way, man. Uh, once again – Another game where, in my opinion, our defense won this game. And that's another thing people are not understanding, man. Our defense is holding these teams, you know. If we can continue to let our defense play, it'll, it'll let our offense to get moving, get the rhythm going, and get, get flowing. See, I was a defensive player, so, you know. On defense, it's that energy, man. Yeah. You the dog, man. You get to, you get to set the tone, man. You get to set the tone with the tone of the game. Shout out to Tank and uh, Demarcus Lawrence. I mean, Demarcus. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Armstrong and uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Tank. I know uh, Parsons didn't get any sacks this game, but don't let it fool you. His pressure rating was crazy. Oh, I want to gotta go back and look up, bring up my stats again. But his pressure rating was was pretty pretty nasty. He his impact, his his presence is uh, dangerous. He even made a guy jump offside. He made Neil Evan Neal's jump offside, which I think Evan Neal had a horrible game. There go that boy. Once again, shout out to St. Lawrence for that one. Watch it in a better view. The boy say Quan was running in rock, man. We finally kind of slowed him down, but he had a breakout. It was good. I feel like we started off strong. Then we kind of got to a balance point with uh, New York. New York kind of started getting the upper little hand. But uh, the one thing we've cried and complained about with Kellen Moore and just the Cowboys not switching up uh, the plays, 
um, switching up to atone for what's going on on the field instead of just running whatever you're just trying to run. I feel like they did a great job switching up and amounting to what they needed to do to make a change and not keeping the same thing going on, the same defensive looks, the same offensive looks. So I do want to say, man, yo, shout out to the coaches as well. I think this team won as a whole. And uh, I, I feel the same way about uh, week two. I feel like week two and three, we just won better as a whole. Maybe, I don't know, it's the fright of not having a Dak out there, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I do want Dak back, and I do think this team will be back to a dangerous atmosphere once we get Dak back in there with Gallup and Michael Gallup and Tober getting on better. I don't know really what's going on with Tober, man. He's really a quiet spell. Low key, I'm trying to keep my mouth shut about Tober. But, uh, Lord. So, yeah, man, just a little, little, you know, first drives and first little series. I like to, uh, I like to say we can keep going. I do feel like uh, with Washington week four, I think we'll win that one again. Uh, I just think we should slow down on the, like, yeah, hype up Coop, you know, Cooper Rush. Of course, go Rush, man. Let's do it. I'm not against my boy. Man, I'm just against y'all saying he should be starting over Dak if Dak is healthy and full thought I'm ready to go. That right there is. I'm sorry, it's just pure ignorance. Uh, come on, guys. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, it's just, come on. Y'all. It's not even a case of money. This is pretty simple stuff, man. Um, let's see. What is it? Uh, Tank Lawrence did get injured. He uh, hurt his foot. Uh, he actually... Left out of the game, but he ended up coming back. Uh, to, you know, towards the end, this all took place. But he did hurt his foot, man. But I, I want to say I think he'll be okay from reports and what I've been reading so far. He should be okay. Uh, he did leave the field, but he ended up coming right back out there. So him coming back out there, is that's that's a really good sign. That's a good thing. That shows that he's, he'll more than likely be good. Maybe probably I'm, I need to see if he practiced today. <laughs> That'll be the that'll be the true kind of show. But um by Wednesday I have a better understanding on that. But like I said, I don't believe he's injured at all. Um let's get into some of these stacks and standings. By the way. Dallas is leading the NFL in sacks. What I believe, thirteen. I want to say, oh, like thirteen, thirteen sacks. And Trayvon Diggs finally did get his interception last night. Putting us on the stat sheets for interceptions, um, which is being led by led by Marcus Williams. Uh, with three interceptions. My boy Fit, 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 Fit Patrick. Yeah, he up there too. Jackson, Lloyd, Darius Slay got two interceptions. So, I mean, yo. Let's see. Okay, some next I'm going to some next gen stats and I'm gonna try to throw these on the board. Come on, next gen. Next gen giving me whack. Some whack stats right now, man. Uh, 
Oh. So we do got uh, for next gen stats uh, for remarkable rushes. Tony Pollard is actually number 11 on there uh, for week three. With his uh, 46 yard rush. I said he was only supposed to be expected. So the next gen stats basically express that he had a 46 yard rush. He was only expected to uh, gain four yards off of the rush with a yards of over expectancy of 42. Putting him at 11. Getting beat by Tyson Hill, Andre Swift, Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. Lamar Jackson's obviously at one. For week two, he had a 79 yard rush. He was only expected to get two yards. But obviously a 77 yard over expectation. So I say a yo, yo, yo. Let's see. Look at the charts. Yep. So, oh, that's that looks wrong. It looks very wrong. Anyway, so we got CD Lamb, man. Just throw out CD Lamb, eight receptions for 87 yards, one touchdown. Then we got Tony Pilar coming in, stepping up with 13 carries, 105 yards. Then you had Ezekiel Elliott. Right now they're showing 15 carries and 73 yards, but I'm for sure that he had 15 carries for 75 yards and one TD. So, because uh, I know when I looked at everything, we had a total of 180 rushing yards. Cooper Rush with a great uh, game, giving us a good old 21 for 31 with uh, 215 yards, one TD, zero interceptions. Hmm. I want to see what. Oh, boy. Parsons. Stuff. Jimmy G throwing interceptions. Yeah, man. So, regardless, what I can say is the offense has gotten they're, – they're getting their crap together. They have, uh, kind of, in my opinion, kind of did a step up. Peterson looked a really good plan, guard. Which is good because it's an upgrade from Matt. Um, two, two. Yeah, so that's all correct. Yeah, so we're looking good. I mean, I'm I'm satisfied with what we got flowing. I'm not over, you know, dumped about it. Our defense did okay, besides letting Saquon kind of get some runs in on him. She kind of sucked, but it's cool. Ezekiel Elliott did have a nice 27-yard rush. My reaction to the game is pretty straightforward and simple, man. I feel like we did. We came in, we did what we had to do. We beat a, in my opinion, overhyped New York Giants team. They was overhyped from the jump. I don't feel like I never felt like they was just all that great to begin with. Period. Uh the Eagles may be a different story. You know, like I said, I'm a realistic fan, a realistic diehard. Do I feel like we can beat the Eagles? Yeah, of course. Do I feel like the Eagles got some 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 good stuff going right now? Heck yeah. Do I feel like they're a great team? Definitely. So for me, man, it's about getting all of our pieces together now, knocking out the Kings and getting our players back. Because uh, uh, we're going to need Dak and Gallup in our squad. I mean, I want to either see Jerron Hurst back, uh, Conor McGovern get back, man, just to have these bodies, man, get all our bodies back. 
that's what's going to set the tone for us uh, and make it to where we actually have that chance. I'll trust my defense just that much, you know. I really do. Uh, I want to continue to see us uh, prevail, baby. It's Cowboy Nation. Uh, with that back injury and with that line coming in, part of me actually felt like the season was over. So I do commend Cooper Rush for coming in and keeping it alive. That all right there it means a lot. And, uh, yo, this has been my time. The Coleman Cowboy, man. I try to come back with a video. Uh, it's early. It's really, really early, so I don't have much rumors going for you. Not rumors that I want to share. Uh, I've seen some trade rumors and things, but just irrelevant right now. And Dallas Cowboys' name is a name where reporters and people are going to make money off of. They can kind of put out the outlandish things and re receive some hype from it. So I'm not going to do rumors and news until more than likely tomorrow or Thursday. So, yo, man, I appreciate whoever tunes in, who comes through and supports. Make sure y'all do me a favor, hit that like button, like, and subscribe. Um, as this grows, I'll grow. We'll grow together. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I do do uh, live listen-ins for the games. That way people who may not be able to watch or listen can get a little bit of both, if that makes sense. Because I don't show the whole game, but I have slight parts of the game that's being showed. Uh, but I don't want to get copyright, uh, you know, infraction. So I just try to be smart with that. Also, next game, I did some looking at my stream. I don't like how my camera was sound, or not my camera, but my microphone was quite sounding. So I'll be trying to get the microphone closer to the speakers to make sure that's all fluent and going legit. But anyway, yo, hey, thanks, man. Let's go. How about them Cowboys, baby? <laughs>